साईराम स्टुडंट्स आय वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वन्स अगेन टू ओवर फॉर्मॅटिव्ह असेसमेंट सेशन लास्ट मंथ यू हॅव ऑलरेडी सबमिटेड फॉर्मॅटिव्ह असेसमेंट अँड प्रोजेक्ट अँड ॲक्टिव्हिटी एम आय राईट सो नाव द नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू हॅव टू डू दॅट इज द एक्सपेरिमेंट अँड द असाइनमेंट सो नाव लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोईंग टू कंडक्ट टुडे सो द एक्सपेरिमेंट विच वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस टुडे दॅट इज अबाउट इलेक्ट्रोस्टॅटिक एक्सपेरिमेंट Now what do you mean by electrostatic experiment? Let's try to understand that first. For our better understanding, what we have done, we have divided the electrostatic word into two parts. Okay. So as you can see that over here, electro. Electro means what? Electric charge. Electro means what? Electric charge. So there are basically two type of the charges which are there. That is nothing but what? Positive charges and the negative charges. so the positive charge and the negative charge they are usually responsible for conducting the electricity so these are the two charges which are there now what do you exactly mean by the static static means what at rest at rest means what which is very steady which is not moving from one place to the another place so that thing is called as what static understood now let's combine electro and static word together so when we combine electro and static word together it tells us that electric charges at the rest means what those electric charges which are not moving electrical charges they are usually in the motion form they are usually moving from one place to the another place but the electrostatic means what those electric charges which are not moving from one place to the another place and those electric charges are present at the rest position okay so this is called as what electrostatic so now you must be thinking how we can do this experiment at our home it is very easy to do so our aim of the experiment is that to study how electrostatic is produced so this is our aim of experiment which we are going to do today so let's see that how we can do this experiment to do this experiment first of all we should know what apparatus are required to conduct this experiment am i right so basically it's very easy to do this experiment you will require either plastic comb or plastic ruler anything which is available to you for today's purpose i am going to use the plastic comb here okay and the most important thing which is required for this experiment is bits of paper bits of paper means what a pieces of paper you can tear the paper like this you can divide you can uh, break the pieces into small small part like this and keep it like this steady in front of you okay so only two material you are going to require for today's experiment that is bits of paper and a plastic comb that's it so even you can do this experiment at your home Uh, after this session and it is very easy and it is very interesting also okay so what are the apparatus which are required to conduct this experiment a plastic comb or plastic ruler and the most importantly a bits of paper okay so these are the only two apparatus which are required for electrostatic force experiment okay so now let's understand what is the procedure to do this experiment once you understood the procedure it will be easier for you to do this experiment so step number 1 is that spread the bits of paper on a dry surface of the table make sure that before spreading the paper the table should be completely dry the table should not be moist if your table is moist then your paper they will get wet and your experiment won't be able to work so that's why make sure that before conducting the experiment spread the paper on the dry surface okay and next the next condition is that see to that wherever you are spreading the bits of the paper the area should not be windy means what there should be less of air circulation if your fan is switched off if your fan is switched on then kindly go and switch it off otherwise what will happen because of the fan your pieces of the paper they will flew away very easily so for this purpose 
प्लीज काइंडली स्विच ऑफ द फैन सो दीज आर दी कंडीशन विच आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट टू परफॉर्म एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली वॉट नेक्स्ट स्टेप यू आर गोइंग टू डू यू हैव टू रब द प्लास्टिक कोम यू हैव टू रब द प्लास्टिक कोम ऑन योर हेयर लाइक दिस आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ओवर यर सो लाइक दिस यू हैव टू रब योर कोम ऑन द ऑन योर हेयर ओके मेक श्योर दैट योर हेयर शुड बी कंप्लीटली ड्राई हेयर शुड नॉट बी ऑयली हेयर शुड नॉट बी मॉइस्ट एज वेल अदरवाइज ऑन मॉइस्ट हेयर एंड ऑन ऑयली हेयर योर एक्सपेरिमेंट वॉन्ट वर्क इज दैट क्लियर सो मेक श्योर वेन यू रब द कोम ऑन योर हेयर इट शुड बी कंप्लीटली ड्राई इफ योर हेयर इज नॉट लॉन्ग नो इशू यू कैन रब योर कोम लाइक दिस इज दैट फाइन सो दिस इज वॉट यू हैव टू डू नाउ यू मस्ट बी थिंकिंग हाउ मेनी टाइम एग्जैक्टली वी हैव टू रब द कोम ऑन योर हेयर सो यू हैव टू रब द कोम ऑन योर हेयर एट लीस्ट फॉर एट टू नाइन टाइम विगरसली ओके सो दिस मच टाइम यू हैव टू डू एंड लेटर ऑन वॉट यू हैव टू डू इमीजिएटली ब्रिंग दिस प्लास्टिक कोम नियर टू द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर यू डोंट हैव टू टेक दिस बीट्स ऑफ पेपर ऑन योर हैंड द पेपर विल बी ऑन टेबल ओनली द पेपर विल बी ऑन टेबल ओनली यू हैव टू टेक दिस कोम एंड यू हैव टू ब्रिंग इट नियर टू द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर लाइक दिस आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ओवर यर सो लाइक दिस यू हैव टू ब्रिंग द प्लास्टिक कोम नियर टू द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर ओके एंड आफ्टर वर्ड ऑब्जर्व वेरी केयरफुली वॉट विल हैपन ऑब्जर्व वेरी केयरफुली वॉट विल हैपन वेन यू ब्रिंग द कोम नियर टू द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर सो वॉट यू विल ऑब्जर्व स्टूडेंट्स सो वेन यू ब्रिंग द प्लास्टिक कोम नियर टू द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर वॉट यू विल ऑब्जर्व दैट द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर दे विल गेट अट्रैक्टेड दे विल गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द यू कैन सी दैट ओवर यर दे विल गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स द प्लास्टिक कोम लाइक दिस कैन यू सी यर हियर इन दिस कोम ओके सो द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर दे गॉट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड द प्लास्टिक कोम सो दिस इज वॉट यू विल सी इन योर एक्सपेरिमेंट और योर ऑब्जर्वेशन एज वेल ओके सो फॉर योर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई हैव शोन योर इमेज एज वेल कैन यू सी हियर कोम कैन यू सी योर कोम एंड कैन यू सी हियर द बीट्स ऑफ पेपर विच आर लाइंग ऑन द ड्राई टेबल सर्फेस सो वेन यू रब योर कोम विगरसली and then you bring it towards the bits of paper then it will attract it immediately suppose if you do not rub your comb okay and if you bring like that only then paper they won't get attracted so to bits of paper to get attracted towards the comb before that you have to rub it for at least 8 to 9 times then only the bits of paper they will get attracted towards the comb okay and most importantly now you must be thinking how exactly happens how it is possible so let me tell you that when you rub the plastic ruler or comb on dry hair there is production of one type of the electricity and that electricity it is called as what static electricity it is called as what static electricity and that static electricity is produced due to the friction why it is produced due to the friction friction means what like the force between the two opposite surface like when you rub the comb on your hair so there will be certain kind of the friction so due to the friction a static electricity is produced on hair as well as on the comb as well so as you can see that over here when you rub the plastic comb on your hair positive charge is developed on the hair positive charge is developed on the hair and negative charge is developed on the comb a comb acquires negative charge and hair acquires the positive charge and as you know that opposite charges attract each other positive and negative charges they attract each other are you getting my point over here so here in this case because of the production of static electricity a comb gets attracted towards the bits of paper very immediately just due to the production of what static electricity understood student why exactly the bits of paper got attracted towards the uh, comb here because the reason is that a plastic comb or plastic ruler they exert a force they exert force on the bits of paper 
and due to the electrostatic force which is developed on the comb the paper gets attracted very immediately okay so here you can see that the force which is exerted on the electric charged material it is called as what electrostatic force so please kindly note down this definition what do you exactly mean by the electrostatic force so repeat the definition after me the force exerted on electric charged material is called as what electrostatic force okay and most importantly this electrostatic force attracts the beads of the paper so who is responsible for attraction of beads of paper electrostatic force okay so this is what experiment we have done today i hope so student you must have understood the experiment okay and see the diagram very carefully after watching this session you have to note down aim apparatus diagram conclusion everything on your project paper okay you have to submit it as well and before submission write your name sid number standard on the project paper as well and then do the submission just to reduce the confusion is that clear so see this diagram very carefully and this diagram only you have to draw in your project paper see to that i don't want different diagram i want only this diagram in your project okay now what is the conclusion what is the conclusion of this experiment the conclusion of this experiment is that a beads of paper get attracted to the plastic comb due to the static electricity what is the conclusion beads of paper get attracted to the plastic comb due to the static electricity so this is our conclusion of electrostatic experiment so i hope so students you must have understood and you must have enjoyed the electrostatic experiment as well so what you have to do you have to write the questions which i have displayed in front of you and i want the answer of this question from you okay so this is what i am expecting from you so these are the question there are total six questions which i have given in front of you note down all this question in your notebook okay and you have to write all this questions answer and answer of this questions are in the previous session like just now i explained everything okay just in my explanation all the answers are there so see this video very carefully so that you will get all the answer very immediately okay so what is the first question name the materials required in this experiment okay so write copy the question and copy answer as well you have to write that by yourself what is the second question what is electrostatic force you have to write the definition of electrostatic force third question what happens when a plastic comb is held near the beads of paper so this is what you have to write the answer so go back to this video so that you will get the answer okay and what is the fourth question where should we spread the beads of paper again you will get this answer in this video as well fifth question for performing this experiment what can be used instead of the plastic comb here in this experiment i use the plastic comb right so instead of plastic comb if it is not available what you can use you have to write that what is the sixth question what happens when we rub the plastic scale on the dry hair so this also you have to write down so students carefully note down all the six questions and write the answers as well okay and for submission purpose there are total 10 marks for your experiment so total 10 marks you will get only when you will follow the following things you have to write your aim on the paper aim i have already given in this video so watch this video very carefully and from this video only write down aim okay then you have to write the apparatus you have to write the procedure you have to draw the diagram and you have to label it as well and diagram should be with the pencil only again you have to write the observation and you have to write the conclusion okay and most importantly last but not least you have to write down total six question which i have given you just now along with the answer and before submission as i told you 
on paper name sid number everything should be there okay and then only you will do the submission so i hope so students you must have understood what do you exactly mean by the electrostatic force now we shall discuss about the assignment part so even this assignment is there for total 10 marks so what assignment we are going to assign you today so the assignment which you have to do that is draw neat and label diagram of types of bones so types of bones you have to just draw the diagram that's it okay so what are the types of the bones so you all know that basically type bones are divided into four types so we have already discussed in our lecture session that what are exactly bones bones are the strong material bones are the cells which are present in our body who are providing support to our body bones are giving shape to our body bones are protecting the soft organs like brain heart lungs and etc okay and there are total 206 bones which are present in the adult human being and total 300 bones are present in the small child so depending upon the shape of the bone we have classified the bones into total four parts okay so these diagrams you have to draw only diagram you have to draw don't worry okay so the first type of the bone is that flat bone so the name itself says that it is a flat bone means what the shape of this bone is completely flat so this bone it is present in the chest part it is present in the middle of the chest which is called as a sternum okay and this is present in the shoulder region okay so these are the flat bone which are present in our body so you have to draw this diagram and you have to label it as well and the second type of the bone is that what small bones the small bone it is present in our hand and in our leg also the bones which are smaller in size we call them as what small bones so when many small bones combine together they form our hand structure okay and the third type of the bone is that what irregular bone irregular bone means what the bone which is doesn't have any type of the particular shape so this type of the bone it is present in our waist region in our waist region this bone is present and this bone it is present in our backbone our vertebral column okay so our vertebral column our back it is completely made up of this type of the irregular bone which is which doesn't have particular shape and the fourth type of the bone is the long bone long bone means what the name itself says that a bone which has the long size okay so long bones where they are present in our hand and in our leg so these four diagrams you have to draw on your drawing paper draw it very carefully draw neat and label diagram uh, and uh, on drawing paper only write your name sid number division roll number etc and then send it where you will send it guys you will uh, send it this experiment particularly on only 14th september on 14th september i want uh, experiment and assignment please do not send project uh, experiment and the assignment before 14th september i want submission only on 14th september not before that if you send before 14th september then your experiment and assignment will not be assessed because there are many submission you have to do so if you submit everything together so it will create a lot of confusion so see to that you will submit it on 14th september is that clear and where you will send it uh, we have provided you the new link am i right so for uh, a division b division c division and d division there are different links which we have already provided so on this link you have to upload your experiment and you have to upload your uh, assignment as well okay so this is the experiment and uh, assignment which you have to do and you have to submit only on 14th september okay so i hope so i am clear with experiment part and the assignment part so we will stop here wish you all the best for your experiment and the assignment